too hi guys welcome to another video welcome to my channel if you're new uh if you're viewing these videos for the first time please do hit the subscribe button and be part of the nice new channel so as you can see i'm not alone today i'm with this little cutie <laughs> she looks like she is the same age as me but she is way younger you know most i'm a 2000 you want to introduce yourself <laughs> hi guys i'm a guru aka angie um i'm 14 yeah she is a teenager she is my colleague's daughter that's why you see us in the clinic setting she came with her mom to work today it's a bring a girl child to work <laughs> yeah she's here to see what nurses do but i decided to take an advantage of that mainly because she is passionate and she is into youtube so why not feature her so i wanted to do a topic that i've always always wanted to do but i didn't know who to feature I wanted teenagers to tell us as parents things that they wish we knew or things that they would like us to know but they don't have the guts to tell us because wow we are parents right so we are going to be talking about four segments uh, segment number one is going to be things that um, teenagers wish we knew about their friends or how they feel about us and our opinions on their friendships and the second segment is what going out yeah uh parents and teenagers are always fighting about going out um so mantra is sitting over there and uh, mantra is literally the director of the channel whenever i'm at work okay so the other one oh so i was saying mantra when we are talking about going out she is making this reaction so surely parents don't like it when teenagers go out but today madam over here will be telling us what they wish we knew about them going out and the other segment is dating. dating yeah what teenagers need parents to know about dating and the last one will be privacy. privacy guys they are phones they are bedrooms they are laptops they are social media platforms do you, are you guys happy with parents sending new friend requests on Facebook? Ah, yo! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, so we're going to cover all that. So without any further ado, let us get on today's video. Okay. Have you ever experienced or had an issue with your mom or your dad not wanting you to be friends with somebody and when at that particular time you don't see their reason of yeah, horror yeah and how does it make you feel how does it make you feel that a parent wants to choose a friend for you or they would say ah oh, this friend is not good for you because we feel like they don't know us they don't know us <laughs> i like that so they don't know you because we never sit down and talk about us you know yeah. i want to know you like Wahoo, like you are growing up, you are not the same child as you were, like you were nine years and up. Like, yeah, you are not the same child as when we were like nine. They used to know us, they used to know what we like, what we eat, and our friends. Most of the times, parents have instincts, like they can look at a person and their character, first and yeah, first impression type, type of thing, and they can tell that this is not a good friend. You know what? I wanted to ask, I wanted to ask if. I, are you the same person with your friends that you are at home? Who is, like, who is the true you? Let's start there. Is it the one that is at home or is it the one that is with your friends? I'd say it's, the difference is that like the naughty, not naughty and stuff. So like at home, my naughty has like decrease it's subsides yeah. but when you are with your friends it, it, it like it, it comes starts out. like it starts is it influenced from the friends or it's just your personality i don't know i become free when i'm with my friends i like that i like the fact that she's mm -hmm. saying she becomes free when she is with her friends so sometimes as parents i think we tend to think we know you guys but we don't know you because you are not as free as with you. us at home as you are with your friends you know what the problem is, man? Yeah. The problem is I don't sit down with my mom and talk about my feelings. Yeah. Like I have crushes on this boy, this yeah. girl, or this like this type of my sexuality and stuff. We don't talk. We don't sit down and talk. 
So when I'm at school, I talk with my friends. I tell them everything. Do you think it's the parents' responsibility to always initiate that relationship of talking to you about sexuality, about anything that concerns life? Or do you think you also have the the audacity, you also have the confidence to approach your mom and say, Hey mom, I want us to talk about this today. Do you think you have that, that like the darts of initiating that conversation? Or you think it should be the parents' responsibility to come and say, um, Riva, let's sit down and speak about this. Yeah, it depends on the moods. Like, if your parents know you that, like, when you're like maybe down, there's something wrong, when they see that you are not teaching yourself, they should be like, come and sit down with you. But sometimes I just feel like it's both. Yeah. Half, half. So, so most of the times you, you feel that the, the barrier is with the communication. Our yeah. parents, they don't engage with us on topics that are related to life outside there. So you guys also end up withdrawing yourselves. Yeah. Okay. The second point that I would like us to talk about is dating. Okay. Would you as teenagers want parents to come and talk to you about dating? Yeah. Would you be comfortable if your parent came and said that? Would you prefer that over a parent saying, don't date? Would you prefer a parent that comes and says, Okay, I can see you are in your teenagers. I just wanted us to have a conversation about dating. Or oh, you would, or you are okay with a parent that comes out and say, you shouldn't date. Um, boys bring babies. Boys are bad. Which parent would you prefer to have? Oh. Like, parents, they come, they, they talk to you about this thing because they have experienced them. Some of them have, have experienced and some of them have seen stuff like that so they're scared to let you go and date because one day you come up with the baby not knowing the father yeah. so what would you say teenagers wish parents knew about dating yeah their sexuality first of all yeah their sexuality because girls sometimes they don't date boys so they could they become lesbians okay and then boy come gays and stuff so basically what you're saying is that parents should not assume that simply because you are a girl you are dating girls you're i mean you are dating boys, boys. Yeah. yeah and you are a boy you are dating girls Definitely. they should not assume that about they dating should come and sit you down and find out about your sexuality sure they, they should start there in fact yes. not wanting to say are you dating but they should start by wanting to know your sexual orientation yeah. i like that you guys and it's very true she is so right simply because you gave birth to a daughter it doesn't mean for you're gonna be a a mother-in-law to some guy so we need to to know the sexuality of our teenagers at a very tender age and i think this will also assist us not to have like um, lesbians or gay people or bisexual people or queer people who are living in the closet mm -hmm. I mean the moment you get accepted at home it is easier for you to come out to the world because already you are getting the support that you need from home I truly loved that I didn't see it coming at all she blew my mind on that we're going to our third point which is um, privacy privacy um we we buy our kids phones we buy them laptops have their own room um is it okay for me as your mom to get into your room when you are not there and go through your drawers and see condoms and see letters that you wrote to your boyfriend or to your girlfriend is it okay for me to do that am i allowed to do that for me you are allowed okay you are allowed to know my like how am i living in the world am i safe or not like you you must know everything my moves and stuff if you don't know me then what's gonna happen to me yeah that's true can i go through your facebook account can i go through your messages can i go through your whatsapp messages am i allowed to do that as a parent if you trust me if i trust you i can if i don't trust you i think you must go like you must go in and check the accounts because sometimes we may intend like to know everything so we are posting like news and stuff to the world and they see us one day there's a man knocking on the door saying that she's looking he's looking for a girl named because she's posting this and this and this so it's more of parents being like guiding you guys or safeguarding you guys against uh predators that are out there right nowadays technology we can hack into accounts 
so we can see things we can do things and stuff you can get the, the the location where you are so parents your teenagers you should go through their things because it's not only invading of privacy but i guess it's also about um, safety. safety yeah make sure, making sure that your child is safe but i would also suggest that you communicate with your child and you be open with them um because at the end of the day you don't want them to feel like you are a police officer now and i think the, the more you communicate with them it will make them to to want to come and run to you you will be their safe space so communication is very key you guys don't just rasmatas uh, their bedrooms without letting them know i think the other thing that i dislike about parents well i i know these things because i'm an adolescent and youth nurse and i get to have like conversations with with adolescents and one thing that i dislike about parents is that we want to rectify the mistakes that we made as teenagers or as kids mm -hmm with our children's lives forgetting that our kids have their own lives and unfortunately we cannot leave their lives for them we can guide them as much as we can we can give them the information but at the end of the day yeah. it is their responsibility to make the decisions okay um i think we are on our last point what is it is it going out it's going out yeah do you think you guys should be allowed to go out if so um what is the curfew what time do you think a teenager, your no. age, 14 years old, should Well, if you out? allow them to go out, they want to come and you can Like, okay. they want to go out until the party's over. Okay. I think they should not go out at this young age. Okay. Let's young. At what age do you think one should start going out? Like, 19 or 18. What is going out, by the way? Like, going out to parties. So, in terms of going out, they need to have a kid. And in terms of going out at night, they should not go out. They should go out. <laughs> yeah, um, you guys, these are the things that we have today with Reba. Um, we decided to cover just four topics. And I'm hoping that I'm going to feature her again on this channel. If it's not her, then it definitely we're going to need another teenager to come and sit here. Because to be honest, teenagers need their voices to be heard. It cannot always be the parent's voice over a child's voice. Mm -hmm. I think this is why we end up having rebels. Because they feel like, what the hell? I'm tired of listening to this woman. I'm tired of listening to this man. And they always feel like we are against them. Especially when we try to impose um our mistakes unto their lives you know a child you should allow them to live their life at the same time you should guide them through it and not impose and trying to rectify your mistakes you know when you're saying i wanted to be a doctor and now suddenly you want your child to become a doctor that is highly impossible allow them to be their own person but at the same time guide them and make sure that they are safe so yeah this video will end here wait okay um i think parents should start um, talking to their child at the age of 10. yeah because they are in grade four they are nearly finished with primary so at grade four they they, they see things from grade sevens and grade six fives that this is how you act as this child 12 11 12 and 15. so at the age of 10 parents should start talking about these topics that we just come with their kids and okay. not feel like hey, she's still too young i know with hiv mandua i give you know with hiv we do disclosure at the age of three years ne? and then when they get to 10 years we do full disclosure when people when children are 10 years old we now tell them that you are HIV positive, but below 10, we tell them that you have a gem. So I think she's right when she says that 10 years, be honest with your child, be brutal, like be raw, don't sugarcoat things. Call a penis a penis, call a vagina a vagina, yes. don't say a punani. Yeah. You don't get into trouble, yeah. you don't get into experience. So at the age of 10, we are saying someone, a child is fully developed. And if you don't lay the foundation at the age of 10, then you will have a problem when you are dealing with a 17 year old. And girls because, start their period at the age of 10 sometimes. Yeah, 10, 9. Yeah. And by the time you want to enforce or instill or teach at the age of 17, you will be teaching a full 
fully grown woman, an mm. entire whole person who has yeah a mind, <laughs> a person that has a mind of his own. That's what Mantua is saying. Mm. You will be trying to teach someone who has a mind of his own, who has built his own foundation. So at the age of ten, start building foundation for your kids. If you don't want the world to start building the foundation for them because now once the world start building the foundation for them then when they come into the house you are going to collide be there for, be there there for your them. kids support for your kids and the other thing that um parents don't understand is that kids do go through stress teenagers go mm, through stress 10 year olds go through stress so their and mental health at high school. their mental health also it's important some even start at primary their mental health is important when you are divorcing your children gets uh, uh, affected mm -hmm. by that when you are playing an absent mom your children are affected when by you are playing an absent dad your children are affected by that kids are affected let us stop treating them like human beings that don't have brains they have mm -hmm. brains that are actually functioning way mm -hmm. better than us as as adults okay so let's consider their mental health as well i hope you found this video to be informative and if you did please give it a massive thumbs up and if you are new on this channel do not forget to hit the subscribe button and be part of the next day channel we love you guys so very much and thank you for watching we'll see you on our next video Bye. Bye.